Hey, welcome to Pap Studio. This is Bhubala. In this journey, we're going to talk about the iOS application development using Swift UI. As part of Pi Finance application, what we are trying to solve is we are trying to connect uh, borrowers as well as uh, lenders. So usually, uh, when you want to buy a loan, you just need to connect with uh, different bank available uh, in the market and you're going to approach them. They will offer the better rate, then you can just click it and go on. And what if you don't have a credits or you don't have a bank accounts then you just have to depends on the individuals you're gonna give the loan uh, to you so in that case this uh, borrowers and lender of individuals is not organized so far so this application intention is like uh, we want to connect the such a borrowers and then lender and this application will be uh, uh, will be in the middle the that gonna connect these two peoples like uh, we will be user will be able to create the borrowers or lender applications and you can able to search nearby borrowers or lenders and then if you want you just go and pick up the best borrowers or lenders based on the rate of interest and then uh, the, we have a dashboard that shows like how much you bought how much loans you have and whereas another way like if you have a lenders then it will show the summary of how many uh, how much of money you're lending to the others and what are the different uh, loan takers and those details as well so it's a very complex application and real-time application as well as part of this application we were using a uh, few things uh, just i'll showcase you and we're going to talk about more uh, use cases as and when we are progressing in it i don't want to dump everything here yeah but i just want to show you what is the key decision we made here so we are going to create ios applications using the swift ui and then our application will support ios 16 and above and it should be in the portrait mode and uh, it's a multi-model applications which means uh, we have a different model and each model will be taking the responsibility of doing such things doing one things okay and we may extend the support for vision OS as well and we have a localization so so that we can support a number of languages and we should be having dynamic themes and it supports the and it's supposed to support the deep links as well so this is a key decisions we will uh, we will i will show you like one after another how we supposed to do this and also we have a frameworks like we will be having a pipe base authentication for uh, mobile app authentication and also we have a fire store to store the information real-time information exchange with the different clients and also we are having a firebase crash analytics if something goes wrong we can track it there and then for payments we are supposed to use for the strip uh, gateway so these are the key decision we made at this moment but this decision can be changed at any point in time okay now it's a time to jump into the video and uh, to create our applications i just add a workspace here i just want to do our something called as phi finance dot i was so the reason i'm creating one workspace is here is as i told you before i just want to create a multi-model applications which means each model will create its own repository and i have to put it in the different places instead of instead of creating a number of repository i just want to create one repository that holds entire models together uh, that's a, a reason behind it so i'm just going here and just initializing this one so that I just initialize this repository now it's trying now it's a time to create our, our application so i create go ahead and create a new project and i'm saying application as uh, app and i'll say by finance so the plan is i just want to have the swift ui and swift selected here and swift data in some cases if you want if i want to store some local information i may use this swift data uh, later point in time right now i just choose this one and say uh, I just where I would just want to create it is I just want to create it here by default I'm just uncheck this one because I already initialized my uh, git repository and I say create that's it so now your um, your app is ready so with the default configuration if you want you just run and see it once how it look like but uh, anyway we don't use this one for a long time and uh, now I say as I told you before I just want to create a multi-model which means each model will be taking the responsibility of uh, handling one thing so for example i have a pi model it will be having all the model datas uh, having that uh, specific in pi model and i have created uh, i'm going to create another uh, model that we call it as a pi ui where it has a ui components in it 
likewise i going to create the pine networks and they're going to handle the network communications and etc etc so as and when we progress we're going to create a number of packages or uh, yeah packages i could say so to hold all these packages together i'm just creating one folder new group i could say it as a packages oh okay uh, before that one i just want to create this group as group without folder and i'll say packages and then i'm go ahead and creating some package so to create the package file new and you choose you have to choose a package here and here i say pi ui and this one you're supposed to add otherwise it will be go out of our control added to i say five finance and the group is package that's it so your package will be shown within this here like uh, you could have seen this package you could have seen the package icon here that's it so next one is i need to create the model packages that will be having the all the model classes in it and also have some global uh, configurations environment configuration i could say so to do this one just i'm going again i'm going to create another project another package i could say now i can i see this as a pi model and then i just added the same way package create <clears throat> now you could see the pi models also got created so to have some uh, the plan is as i told you before i will i'll be having some uh, pojo classes here plain object so and say plain swift classes here so which means pi model is my base and then pi ui takes a l from pi model to consume all the different configuration if needed and then uh, my finance application has a dependency on pi ui as well as a pi model so let's set the dependency quickly so i'll go here and frameworks and library i'm going to set the dependency of pi model as well as a pi ui so this dependency is done but i just want to set the dependency of pi model within this pi ui right so for that reason you have to take a l from the packages here so i already have some configuration created in my machines just using the copy paste with because i don't want to waste your time so first of all i'll say this platform is i'm going to support version uh, 16 and above and then i'm saying that uh, i just want to create add two dependency here uh, one is like uh, product dependencies To add the dependency, as I said, like I just want to have the Lottie to show the animations, and also I have uh, I'm supposed to have the pipe model to consume some data, right? So this is a local okay, pipe model is a local one to consume the local one. I said uh, just I'm giving the path double slash and the pipe model so that it will consume the path the local path here. In case if I wanted to have the Lottie, then you will have to say the URL and uh, just say what name it is, okay? So as this as simple as so as simple as that. So adding the package here uh, itself not enough to uh, refer this package. To do some additional, you have to do some additional things. You have to add this additional dependency as well. So let's say, and I go ahead and add this additional dependency. There you go. Yes. okay it has to be name and then and we'll have to have the resources as well let me tell you what i'm exactly doing it here okay so uh, dependencies after you adding the dependency here you'll have to see the uh allow to configure the projects uh, after adding the dependency packages here here also you just have to configure those packages in the specific target which is a pi ui okay so what i'm doing here is it's a product and i'm giving the name of this product as lottie this is how i just want to import this one and i also saying that uh, where it's supposed to pointing to this one right and condition is null and resources is something like uh, 